the National Honor Society, and the Art Club. She donates blood in the summertime and through the Interact Club at Bucktail High School. Rachel also participated in cheerleading and played softball. One of Rachel's proudest moments at Bucktail was being inducted in the National Honor Society and being recognized for all the hard work she does academically. During the quarantine, Rachel misses being able to play softball with the team, but she is spending time taking care of her daughter, Cora. In the fall, Rachel plans to attend college and major in psychology with the hopes of becoming a counselor. Rachel's message to the KCSD community is, life may be really rough right now, but keep your head up and we can get through all of this together. Best wishes, Rachel! Our next senior is Micah Poorman, salutatorian. While attending Bucktail, Micah participated in tennis, basketball, and softball. She was a member of the Student Council, National Honor Society, Interact Club, Environmental Club, Varsity Club, Yearbook Club, and is the Vice President of the class. A couple of Micah's proudest moments from Bucktail are being the 2019 Softball District Champ. Yay! along with representing her school in the 2019 Flaming Foliage Festival. During the quarantine, Micah is missing representing Bucktail with her teammates during softball season, but has been spending time going on runs with her dog, Mako. In the fall, Micah plans to attend Penn State University for finance. Micah's message is, stay positive and stay safe. Good luck, Micah. And we have Tessa Kaufer. <clears throat> While attending Bucktail High School, Tessa participated in basketball and softball. She was a member of Environmental Club, Interact Club, Yearbook Club, and National Honor Society, in which she is the Vice President. A couple of Tessa's proudest moments from Bucktail are winning the district title of the softball team, along with going to states and being chosen to represent her school in the 2020 Laurel Festival. Sorry you didn't get to do that, but you're still our queen. During the quarantine, Tessa is missing being able to see her friends and teachers and being able to continue her education in a classroom. She has been spending her time with her nieces and nephews and exploring the outdoors. In the fall, Tessa plans to attend Lock Haven University for criminal justice. A message from Tessa, I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. We are all in this together and remember this too shall pass. Best wishes, Tessa. Cooper is most proud of being able to graduate from the school and being part of a great community. During the quarantine, Cooper is missing having the opportunity to see his friends but has been busy focusing on his hobbies. In the fall, Cooper plans on attending Penn State Mount Alto for forest technology. And Cooper's message is, don't eat bats. <laughs> and we have Destiny Steele. While attending Bucktail High School, Destiny was a member of the choir. One of Destiny's proudest moments while attending Bucktail was having the opportunity to be a part of the high school choir. During the quarantine, Destiny is missing making memories with their friends. But in the fall, Destiny plans on attending Penn State Mount Alto for human development and family studies. Best of wishes to you, Destiny.
During the quarantine, Tyler is missing his construction trades class, but has been staying busy doing projects around the house. After graduation, Tyler plans on joining the military and pursuing a career in law enforcement. And his message to our community is be respectful. Best wishes, Tyler. And with Tyler is Felicia Hauser. Outside of Bucktail, Felicia is involved in dance with the Dance Haven Performing Arts. Felicia is most proud of finding her purpose and direction that she wants to take with her life during her time at Bucktail High School. During the quarantine, Felicia is missing the chance to experience her senior activities and to enjoy her last year with her friends, but has been staying busy working at Susquehue UPMC. In the fall, Felicia plans on attending Lock Haven University to study psychology. And Felicia's message to the community is, without struggle, there is no purpose. Best wishes, Felicia, and Tyler. Darren Bruno. No? Wrong again. Kristen? Oh, okay. Stop, Tori. We have Kai Little. Sorry, Kai. During the quarantine, Kai is missing his friends, but has been spending his time playing video games. After graduation, Kai plans on enlisting in the military or attending technical school. Best wishes, Kai. Glad you made it. And this time I am correct. It is Darren Bruno. <laughs> While attending Butt Hill High School, Darren was a member of the basketball team, yearbook club, interact club, and varsity club. Outside of school, Darren is the American Legion chaplain. Darren's proud of all the relationships that he was able to build with the students, his teachers, and the other staff all at Butt Hill. During the quarantine, Darren is missing his friends, teachers, and staff at Butt Hill, but has been spending his time taking care of his dog, who is here today. What's your dog's name, Darren? Rocco. Rocco. Hi, Rocco. <laughs> and cleaning the house, getting ready to move. He's going to be moving soon. After graduation, Darren plans on attending Montana State University Northern to become an electrician. Darren's message to all of us in this Keystone Central community is never give up. School is tough, and school can get hard, but just like in real life, the teachers are there to help you just as your family, friends, and other adults when you are older. Best wishes, Darren. We'll miss you. But we know you're going to do great things.
next we have Megan Wagner. Hi, Megan. While attending Bucktail High School, Megan was a member of the softball and the basketball team, and she always did her best. Megan is most proud of all the great friendships she has made while attending Bucktail. During the quarantine, Megan is missing her best friends, but has been staying busy doing her schoolwork. Good girl. After graduation, Megan plans on entering the workforce. And Megan's message is, I miss you all, and I love you guys. And we love you too, Megan. Congratulations. Interact Club and is the president, like I said. One of Liam's proudest moments from Buckhill is winning their football game against Otto Eldred High School on military night. During the quarantine, Liam is missing having the chance to see his friends, teachers, and to play baseball, but has been staying busy hiking, walking his dogs, playing video games, and watching Netflix. In the fall, Liam plans on attending college, and Liam's message is stay positive and keep your social distance. Good luck, Liam. Club, the Student Council Interact Club, and is the Vice President of Varsity Club. A few of Devin's proudest moments from Bucktail include making the honor roll and doing all the stuff that we are able to do as a small school. During the quarantine, Devin is missing his final days of high school and making memories with his class, but has been busy spending time with his family and watching TV. In the fall, Devin plans on attending college to study health, science, and exercise science. Devin's message to the Keystone Central community is, enjoy your time in school. It flies by so fast and it is the best years of your life. Wishing you all the best, Devin. Congratulations. Blake was a member of the photography club. During his time at Bucktail, Blake is most proud of the way he stepped up and started getting better grades in school. During the quarantine, Blake is missing hanging out and talking with his friends and being taught in a classroom atmosphere, but has been spending time keeping in shape, hiking, playing video games, art, and photography. In the fall, Blake plans to further his education in the arts. And this is a message from Blake today. Follow your dreams. It doesn't matter what other people think. Do what you want to do with your life as long as you are happy and just live it to the fullest. Good words, Blake. Best wishes to you. And Tristan Bisman. While attending Bucktail High School, Tristan, Tristan participated in the Bucktail drum line and the Bucktail band. He was the president of the photography club and marched with the Bucktail alumni band in the Flaming Foliage Parade. A couple of Tristan's proudest members from Bucktail are participating with the Bucktail drum line and keeping his grades up. During the quarantine, Tristan is missing having the ability to learn face-to-face -face in the classroom with his teachers and classmates, but has been keeping busy by keeping in shape, 
writing and playing video games. Tristan is currently enlisted in the United States Army and I think he's going to be leaving here in June, right Tristan? Yeah. We wish you all the best Tristan. And his message today is keep your head up and stay positive because with the right amount of determination and commitment, you can achieve greatness. So true. Thank you for your willingness to serve our country, Tristan. Thank you. We're proud of you. And now we have Gabe Conway. While attending Bucktail High School, Gabe was a member of the yearbook club and a member of the basketball team. In his free time, he enjoys playing the guitar, fishing, and hanging out with his girlfriend and friends. One of Gabe's proudest moments at Bucktail was making the playoffs in basketball for the second year in a row. During the quarantine, Gabe has been spending his time working at the service garage in Renova. In the fall, Gabe is undecided whether he would like to enter the workforce or attend Lock Haven University. Best wishes to you, Gabe. Take your time, make your decision. Now we have Carly Gensel. While attending Bucktail High School, Carly participated in tennis and basketball. She was a member of the yearbook club and environmental club. During the quarantine, Char Carly is missing her friends but has been spending time with her family. In the fall, Carly plans on attending Pennsylvania College of Technology for nursing. Way to go, Carly. Congratulations. Interact Club, National Honor Society, Photography Club, Student Council, and Varsity Club. Sarah is most proud of making the honor roll during her time at Bucktail. Way to go, Sarah. During the quarantine, Sarah is missing the opportunity to be around her friends and teachers, but has been spending time walking and doing schoolwork. In the fall, Sarah plans on attending college. Best wishes to you, Sarah. And if you ever need anything done, call Sarah Pepper. She'll do it. Way to go, Sarah. Photography Club. Becca is most proud of having the chance to share the great artwork that she worked so hard on in class and art shows during her time at Bucktail High School. During the quarantine, Becca is missing the opportunity to see her friends and teachers, but has been spending her time doing art, texting her friends, of course, reading, baking, and doing some photography outside. In the fall, Becca plans on attending college and begin a career in illustration. Best wishes to you, Becca. Keep, keep up with that great artwork. Oh, now we have the great singer, Haley Pollock. While attending Bucktail High School, Haley was a member of the National Honor Society Student Council Interact Club and Environmental Club. At Bucktail, Haley is proud of being part of a small school that comes together, whether it is in celebration or in hard times that in the end always pulls through together. During the quarantine, Haley misses seeing her friends, teachers, and the atmosphere of school, but has been spending her time baking and watching Netflix. In the fall, Haley plans to attend Penn State Altoona for free medicine. Way to go, Haley. And Haley's message is, I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. Congratulations, Haley. You're gonna come back and sing to the fall and don't forget. Wishing you all the best, hon. Okay, that, that's it for our graduates, but isn't it great to have all of them here today? And 
please look at your website, our Keystone Central website, Tuesday night at 7 o'clock for a great graduation program. It's going to be one they're going to remember, and we are so proud of all of our seniors. <laughs>